What's up? I'm gonna kick it off a little bit different today. Show you guys my uh, bushcraft system that I just leave in my truck. Uh, it's kind of some older stuff. Got it real cheap. This kid probably cost me maybe about 70 bucks to put together. If that, I might put a list of uh, all the things in it and how much it cost or an approximation of what it would cost uh, because some of the stuff I did have given to me. Um, so, it's a little bit different. Let's check it out. Alright, so first thing first, uh, let's just go ahead and open it up. You can see that there's no bag or anything like that. It's just all wrapped up in a wool blanket. And this is something for, you know, decent weather. Summer, uh, maybe fall spring when the weather's nice and you don't expect to get too cold. You can see I just used belts from some old shorts and jeans or whatever they came on. Alright and then just open it up. You can already probably see that I use a shelter half. And then I'll go through this that I use, or keep in this one at least, is just the uh, condor knife. Paracord. And five cheap steaks. So now I'm going to show you how I set up the shelter half, just using the paracord and the steaks. Um, I don't have any trees in my backyard, so I'll have to use this shed and the fence like they're two trees. But it'll be alright. You can see I've already tied on there the Prusik or Prusik knot. However you want to say it, no matter to me. I guess I'll show you how to tie this knot. Alright, so the first thing I do, make sure this thing's nice and tight. Put a little loop right there. It looks like you can. So I just get it nice and tight. And I always just throw a little loop in there so that knot comes out real easy. And uh Oh shoot, that's probably all up in my face. But that comes out real easy, nice, quick, and tight. Alright, I'll try to keep all this in frame. <clears throat> Guys, ever mess with these shelter halves, but this is what me and my dad usually use when we went camping. It's got a little tie out right here. I'm just using a tie. 
called the one is tie out. I don't know if you can see that. So all I'm doing, I just went over to that wood pile and put a toggle in there. Makes it uh, a lot quicker on the takedown and stuff, especially since this is a small kit just for, you know, heaven right there. And if you want to do have a little lunch or something out by the lake, you can do that.
All right, so that's pretty much the the shelter. Um, what I like about this setup is that it's really quick. Um, you're going to keep a lot of this stuff, a lot of the rain off of you, depending on the wind and all that stuff, of course. And you can see there's a little gap in the back. But, you know, that was me not really trying to get this stuff perfect. Plus, you can always throw leaves and brush and whatever you want over that. But to me, it's not a big deal. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and show you this. I'm going to get inside of it. And then I'm going to uh, show you my little cook kit. And a lot of stuff is homemade that's in there. So, you can see, you know, it's small, but it's not supposed to be real extravagant, right? <clears throat> um, just a GSI cup. Nice and easy. This is the Stanley cook kit, um, but I took those two little plastic cups out of it. I just keep some uh, dryer lint in there. This is a uh, fire steel that was, this was a gift. It's got a whistle on it too. So I've got two, you know, containers. The uh, bad thing about this is there's no closed container so um, for transporting water it's best to keep like a big Gatorade or a big water bottle just plastic bottle that's all you really need especially if you've got you know metal stuff to boil so if you're ever in a survival situation um, just some wet fire stuff See, I keep lots of ways to start fires in here because if you ever try to use anything, you're always wanting a different way to start it. It's uh, really hard to get a fire started. And in here, this is just an old uh, BB container, and I keep these in there to start fires too. Because like I said, it's a lot harder than what you think if you've never tried it. This is made out of an old Wolf Chili can. Um, so you can put this over the fire. Uh, you can use this is for some alcohol for the alcohol stove that I made and this thing I mean it works really good actually I'm pretty surprised by it and I didn't use any JB weld or anything around this thing I uh, didn't do anything to seal it just kind of sealed on its own I guess but you can use that if you want to or you can just put stuff right on there and the flames kind of come out like that. Um, these little metal things, I, if I want, if I have like a fire built, I just um, wedge these in there. Keep it off there, let that air flow under there. Maybe I'll do a video of me actually boiling water with this thing and see how long it actually takes. But you know, these things, these are things that are free. I mean, you just got to be kind of, use your mind and think about the tools you can use around you. Don't rape. Just to give you an idea, if I'm right at six foot. If I'm not six foot, I'm 5'12". Alright, so what I usually do, any kind of extra clothes that I'm wearing or whatever, I still think that in the back like that. Just out of the way. And then uh, just chill out and I kind of sleep towards the back of it. Like I said, plan for the wind. Um, today this is actually really nice because you catch some of the wind and it's not as hot. But I sh now I kind of want you to see some of the different angles. Let's see. So, just to show you side profile, because that's what I would want to see personally. But whatever. Okay, I'll show you kind of how far back I get tucked in there. Just 
Do a quick roll, walk around. There's a toggle. I don't know if this will do anything. I just don't think it'll really show. I'm sweating so hot. It's Oklahoma for you.